G'day, TJ here from TJ Makes Drinks. Cheers for coming around my place for another brew. And uh, tonight, we're gonna be making a little drink called the Juicy Screw. Now this one's, uh, this one's a little bit special. It's got, uh, got something prepared earlier that you're gonna see once the time comes. Now usually you'd make this one in a fishbowl sort of size glass. However, fishbowl glasses are really hard to come across unless you work in a bar and you're dealing directly with the manufacturer. And even then, you're still probably gonna be paying like $35 a glass. However, what you can do, is head them down to uh, Big W or Kmart or somewhere like that, and you can get, like this, just a little cookie jar. And functionally, the same thing, still looks damn pretty. And you use this for all your fishbowl cocktails. And it costs, like this one cost me, I think, $3. So, much easier and just as nice. So we're going to put this one aside, put this aside for a little bit, and we're going to start with our old friend, the Russian water vodka. Now I'll do love me some vodka, and uh, really because this is such a large glass, we're probably going to put we're going to put in uh, two nips. So there's two ounces. If you just wanted to make this in a regular glass, what well, we just halve it. So that's uh, two ounces of vodka, two nips, 60 mil. And behind that, we're gonna come in with some watermelon liqueur. Now I actually really love this stuff. This is, this is super fun, super flavorable. flavorable. And if you can find it, uh, yeah, it's actually not that expensive, it's quite nice. So we're gonna put in two nips of this. All right, because you want that flavour. And behind this, we're going to now come on with some orange juice. Hear that bang as I put it down. So there we go, drop some orange juice in there, because you need the juice, otherwise it ain't a juicy screw, is it? It's just a screw. So we're now going to shake this bad boy up, make sure that's sealed. You see that lovely sort of pinkish red colour of it there. And I highly, I highly suggest, I really highly suggest anyone who's into make, mixing a few drinks at home, do yourself a favour, get yourself one of these metal Boston shakers. Right, make sure, make sure it's a metal one, or steel, because what happens is steel actually chills a hell of a lot faster than glass. So this is really good for you. Like, re well, really good at getting everything cold straight away, okay? And that's what you want. Now we're gonna put this aside for a split second. And now we're gonna fill this up with what I said I prepared earlier which is ice cubes made out of pure watermelon juice. Now, so what I did was I just threw some watermelon in the fruit processor, in the food processor, I should say, and I uh, blended that bad boy, strained it out into an ice cube tray, froze it, and there we go, it was good to go, it was lovely. So we're gonna get this, which is our mix from before. We're gonna get the strainer. I bought this and I'm finally getting around to using it. Strain that bad boy in there. Just so we don't get that regular rice in there. That... And I come at the end, I'm going to top this off with a bit of passion fruit soft drink. A bit of passion fruit soda, which I love this stuff personally. And if you want, you can throw in some fresh, uh, some fresh orange slices, some fresh lemon slices if you'd like. Maybe a bit of fresh blood orange or grapefruit if you're feeling a bit fancy. But anyway, we're going to finish that off. Take our straws and pop them in there like so. Make it look pretty as hell. And there you go. This is a very sweet fruity, ju uh, fruity drink. 
It's absolutely lovely. It's fantastic. If you know, it's, again, it's here in Australia. Summer's coming. So uh, anyway, I'll leave you guys to it. Cheers for coming around from another one. I'm TJ. Here's cheers.